friends? It's that time of year. A chill is in the air. You are on holiday break from school, or maybe it's just December if you're a grown-up who has a job and needs to stop trespassing on private property because you don't go to school here, Angelina, so don't make us tell you again. <clears throat> maybe you're trekking home for the holidays to spend some very important time with your family, awkwardly laughing at everyone's jokes that aren't actually funny, they're just super racist, and why isn't anyone telling grandma to shut up for God's sakes? Mostly you spend time petting the cat and or dog. Because unlike everyone else, they can't judge you for your life choices and what a big disappointment you are. Why is your hair still pink? <laughs> I'm guessing. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Is it? You need an escape, but alas, all of your shows aren't running. What the heck are you supposed to do now? Rewatch Broad City again? You and I both know you've seen every episode so many times you can say the lines out loud with a rhythmic, precise timing that sets aside the regulars from the casuals at Christmas Mass. What's a junior shut-in like yourself to do? Well, my friend, I am going to tell you about the best cartoons you should be watching. First up, we have Bob's Burgers. Now, I wasn't even going to mention this one, because it seems to me like it's probably just common knowledge that this show is fabulous, but to not mention it just seems like a sin. What puts some people off about the show is the character design and art style. And I'll admit, it's different and it's kind of question marky when you first start watching. But this show is delightful as all get out for so many reasons. It features a family of five that genuinely love and support each other, which is not always easy because they all have special little quirks that can make it difficult. But the show, while being cleverly humorous, is never laughing at anyone's expense. Compared to similarly categorized shows, such as Family Guy and American Dad, Bob's Burgers seems weirdly wholesome, despite the fact that it delves into somewhat uncharted territory at times. Sensitive subjects are dealt with fairly delicately, and you grow to love and root for the characters, even ones that only show up once a season. On top of that, there is some incredible voice acting, making it a pleasure to watch. There's also a lot of subconscious gender role criticism happening, but they aren't in your face about it. It's just fun. The show's just fun. Steven Universe! God, where do I even start with this show? Steven Universe feels like someone took an ice cream scoop to my brain and made a show out of my wildest ambitions and dreams. Although the protagonist is a little boy named Steven, this is a magical girl show that focuses around female-centric stories. Steven lives with Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, who, along with Steven, form the Crystal Gems. It is so refreshing that Steven admires and looks up to the other gems so much. They are his role models, and he just thinks they're the coolest and wants to be like them. The earnestness that he applies to every task is so endearing, but the, the show, just on the whole, is so charming. There's, there's literally, I can't think of anything that I don't like about the show. The whole show is dreamy and perfect, and it's full of supremely catchy songs that you'll find yourself singing so much people tell you to shut up. I wouldn't know. This is a show that I want kids to watch. And I know that they do watch it, but I just want to shove it in their face and be like, ah, watch the show, watch the show, you're having fun with Aunt Ann. How did it get in your living room? Where does your mom keep the cookies? Also, this show has made me cry more times than I care to mention. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Ange, you, you are such a tough guy. I, I, I'm, sh I'm shocked. I'm shocked that you cry. I know you are, but it's true. Clarence! Clarence is a heartwarming show that will weirdly transport you to a different time. A time when you were ages approximately 8 to 12 and played outside with your friends and pretended your bicycle was a horse named St. Francis My Feetsies. Yes, that is a true story. I was a pretty cool kid whose jokes were not appreciated in her own time. Haha, <laughs> now I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Clarence lives with his mom and her boyfriend Chad and is a uniquely joyful little boy. He explores the world in a way that will make you nostalgic like no other show could. He has quirky friends and they go on little adventures, and I know that this sounds like a show that would only appeal to kids, but trust me, it's for us too. I am supremely invested in this show. Princess Jellyfish! This is not a new show, well, like, it's, it's fairly new, but the show itself is done. They're not airing new episodes now. A mere 11 episodes makes this series a quick watch, but you'll be wishing it lasted forever. 
I know I am. And with the live action film premiering soon, now is a great time to start watching this amazing short story. Princess Jellyfish is about a group of nerdy girls who live together. They're all pretty socially inept, but fiercely protective of each other. Their lives get interrupted, and they have to learn new things in order to save their home. This is a very stylish show, and both the dub and sub versions are great, so whatever your preference is, get on it. The Legend of Korra but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. So I would feel insincere in telling you to watch this and not mentioning that I am not the best Korra fan right now. I'm super behind, I'm super behind. Well, I haven't caught up with the current seasons based on the recommendations from friends who have good taste and the combination of the super good potential in season one, I can feel comfortable recommending Legend of Korra to you. I watched season one religiously when it was coming out. I'm planning to get back into it soon myself. I have to get caught up with the current seasons. This Korasami fanfic isn't gonna write itself. Or will it? Speaking of cartoons, and I just, I know I'm gonna be asked about this. Yes, I am watching Sailor Moon Crystal. How could I not? Like, <laughs> as for what I think, eh, I have resolved myself to two very real facts. Number one, it doesn't matter if the show is horrible because the old one, although textually inaccurate, is super fun and lovable to watch and it's not going anywhere. And number two, I just, I don't need everything to be for me. You know? I don't need everything to be for me. I think there's like this weird mindset when it comes to geeky stuff that if you like something, you have to love every incarnation of it, despite the fact that obviously the newer version is being made with a different target audience in mind. And like, that's so bogus to me. Like, if you're obsessed with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, would you be upset about every new incarnation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just because it doesn't match the old one's style? Like, your old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff isn't going anywhere. Like, you still have it. And this opens up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to a new generation. And like, that's how I feel about Sailor Moon. The animation for the new Sailor Moon Crystal is pretty question mark, and I guess I don't really like the animation style that it's done in, but I'm okay with that, you know? I'm okay with this not being for me. I'm okay with this being for young girls getting into Sailor Moon. Like, I understand that this is one of the most appealing animation styles in the magical girl genre right now, and how could they not appeal to that? It would be foolish. So like, in general, I'm okay with things being for new fans, and I'm not gonna be proud about it. That said, I'm gonna keep watching, and I mean, Lord knows they're only releasing this anime so they can sell Sailor Moon merch to us. What? So that's it for today. Please leave a comment telling me what kind of cartoons you guys are watching or what you think of the ones that I mentioned. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye!